Hi Salman, this is Rajesh from Indusage in Sydney, Australia. Thank you for giving us time, Salman. Ingredients of a blockbuster hit film are striking punchlines, thumping songs, jaw-dropping action, and the Salman Khan. Bajrangi Bhaijan, flag bearer of Salman Khan films, what is your take on that? Well, um, see, we can, you know, just choose the best um, just that you know come, you know, come to, you know, come to us. I think they come to us. So, um, what um, I actually do not, um, do not care that much, you know, about the result, you know. Um, the release of the film, etc., etc., that you know is taken care of by the producer. In this case, me or me and my team. But the the most crucial part of this filmmaking is is just you know the the selection of the film of the script. Once you feel that that is you know that you've not compromised on that, that. The script is like the most amazing script that you that you selected, and you're really keen to do that movie. Like you would shift dates, you know, you would push other people around, and you would, you know, want to uh, start this film um, ASAP. Those kind of movies uh, seldomly not do well, unless you know it is sometimes it's a the character is superb, but the script is weak, you know. So if the script is of um, is on a different level altogether, of you know sincerity, of ability, you know, the screenplay and dialogues and the plot of the film, you know, then I don't think you know uh, they go that wrong. So once the movie is done, all we do is. Um, I do is, you know, um, spread the awareness of the movie that this film is going to release on the 17th on Eid or Diwali or, you know, Christmas, you know, you know whatever the date the film is. So that the people know, are aware of what the film is about and that they should go and see, you know, see the movie. Salman, you have gone yeah. a long way to establish yourself as a star. Known all over the world, Salman is a brand on its own. How does that make you feel? See, I I just lucked out on this. You know? I didn't ever intend to be an actor. I I modeled for a bit for for pocket money when I was in uh, in college. Then I worked as an assistant on three movies. So I thought that that you know one day I would you know turn director. So I started writing my own scripts. And then I didn't get um, a movie as a director, as a writer director. So I thought to let me, perhaps people thought I was too young. You know, I would get work there after like five, six years. So I started, um, you know, trying for acting. And in a year, year and a half, while I was working on as an assistant director, I was, you know, modeling. I got my first break. So, and the first break was, um, I signed two movies on a TV or 13 on this, uh, Ben Apiarki, from which uh, one was uh, a character, and that movie did well. And then the other, Ben Apiarki, was, was my first uh, main lead film. And that film did really well in the film there. You know, I never had to look back. So I just lucked out. I mean, um, all, even though it's been 27 years, this is all uh, you know, very new to me. I still don't believe that I'm in, I'm in this, uh, this position that I'm in today, that um, people all over the world you know, uh, go and see my movies and they like me on screen. So I'm just not that. I've just been fortunate. I've just been really fortunate. Salman, you're blessed. You're, you're humble. Being a devoted worshipper of Bajrang Bali in Bajrangi Bhaijan and releasing the film on the occasion of Eid, only Salman Khan can do that, uniting two religions into one. What do you have to say on that? 
Yeah, because that is what I am all about. I am two religions in one. I mean, um, this film is just talking about what, you know, uh, God has made. God has created the human. We're just talking about humanity. That is the only thing that we're talking about. We're talking about this one man, you know, um, comes into this little kid and, you know, um, gets really attached to this kid. And he knows that he's got to go and, you know, drop her back home. And how he finds her house and how he goes, you know, he finds out that she's from Pakistan and then, you know, goes and drops her back. So it's basically just, you know, um, helping out, being kind, you know, taking that, um, that step, you know, towards being nice, you know, and completing, you know, completing the journey. So we're not this Hindu, Muslim, you know, India, Pakistan. It's just a backdrop. We're talking about nice people, good people, you know, uh, kind-hearted people, people who are doing their job correctly. There's no negative character in this movie. There's no India bashing, Pakistan bashing. You know, there is nothing against any of the religions. It's just that two people happen to be from... Um, two different religions. That's it. And both of them respect each other's religions. That's it. Which is, which everyone knows and everyone does in today's day and age. And uh, Salman. That's the kind of that we're making. We're just making a nice positive film to rubbish all these things that keep on coming out all the time. I mean, um, what is wrong in wanting to do a film where you know, you hugely reduce hatred. I know you're spreading between love, between Salman. Countries or between, you know, uh, religions. I know you you're spread... You want to completely do off this one, you know, uh, because, you know, um, so much of animosity is, um, I don't think it's, um, it's, it's required because, uh, you know... I mean, even like the whole war situation and stuff like that, you know, you, you, you basic, you're basically killing families, you know, you're not killing the soldier, you're killing his whole family. So if something can be, you know, um, sat across the table and uh, worked out uh, to get closer, and both the countries are trying that. So with this film, we're just trying to help. I mean, all our movies are watched in, you know, in, in, in Pakistan, we play cricket, you know, with each, each other. Uh, there are buses, there are flights, you know. Um, the singers work here, you know, the actors work here. So just opening up, um, you know, relationships and seeing that, um, that there's peace. It is. I don't think anyone should have a problem with your man with a big heart. Your man with a big heart, Salman. We we know that you love children. In your film Bajrangi Bhaijan, there is a cute little girl, Harshali Malhotra, pay, playing one of the most important characters. How was your experience with working with Harshali? He is one of the most important characters in, in, in Bajrangi Bhaijan. If she if she didn't work, the film wouldn't have worked. Today we're really happy. Um, with this movie and we're like promoting this movie we're, we're spreading awareness and we're really excited about this movie it's mainly because this girl in the film is incredible she is beautiful she just lights up the screen so if we had failed on the casting of this girl this film wouldn't have done well I mean, you know, no matter how beautiful, how brilliant this script is and how positive, it's very important that the girl has to be equally good. And usually, you know, when we cast for kids, you know, they're just filmy type of kids, you know. They, um, um, there's that one innocence missing in the kids who come in front of the, the, the camera. Out here, we just, um, God in kind, we just got the most beautiful girl to play Munni's character.
Salman Bajrangi Bhai, uh, you have already answered that, but I had in my question, so I'm just uh, repeating the question again. Bajrangi Bhaijan has a powerful plot involving both India and Pakistan, and it is speculated to break all boxes of uh, box office records. What do you have to say on that? Look, I'm not. Uh, um, we've done our best. The film is going to release on the 17th. After this, you know, uh, the audiences decide whether whether this film is going to be like the biggest hit or not. I mean, it, we've we've put in our heart, our soul in this movie. Sabi and myself, we both believe in this film, so that's the reason why I even you know chose to produce this movie. The reason I put the uh, it'll break all box office record in my question was when you you said that uh, after seeing the movie, you were literally crying. That means this movie uh, has has to do yes. extremely well. It's a very moving film. It's a very positive. It's a it's a delight. It's a, this film is a delight to watch. It's a really funny, sweet, emotional um, journey. It's not heavy at all. It has its drama, you know, has its humor, has incredible music, has a brilliant chemistry uh, between um, uh, Harshali and me and Nawaz. There's a love story with um, with um, uh, Karina Kapoor, and uh, she's done a fabulous job in the movie. She's like, you know, the the strongest character in the movie. So. There are a lot of there are a lot of beautiful things in, in the movie. You know, it's basically how you open up your eyes to that people are nice. You know, people do help. It's because we have people like Salman Khan who helps everyone. Another question: Do you recall any sweet memory of the shoot in Bajrangi Bhai Raja? Pardon? Any any good moments of the shooting in Bajrangi Bhai Jaan? Any any moments? But the whole film, the whole film was um, was uh, a beautiful film to shoot. Every scene was was fun to shoot. Then the bits in Chandni Chowk, you know, we went to shot, shot in real Chandni Chowk in, in in Delhi. So interacting with the crowd, you know, and uh, them filming us shoot as well because now their phones are so common with cameras. <laughs> that everyone just keeps on, you know, you know, putting out his phone and shooting. And then we traveled quite a bit in this movie. So uh, Rajasthan, we went to Rajasthan. I love that state. Then for the first time, I have been to to, to Kashmir on a shoot, and I've seen uh, Srinagar. I saw Srinagar. I saw Belgaum uh, uh, and Sonamar, and I thought it was like it's beautiful, and for all these years that you know people did not go and shoot there because of all the chaos that was happening there. I just thought it was so unfair to the people. I mean, they're living in in heaven, which is hell for them. So we went there to shoot this movie. We went there to tell people that it is safe now. We went there because the whole economy survived on. Tourism to go and see this place, you know, to visit this place and keep on visiting this place. Kashmir is beautiful, and what makes it be- more beautiful is the people. Very hospitable, very cultured, really, really nice people. Simple people. I was, I was so amazed to, um, you know, to see such such humble and such nice people. Um, and they're going through a rough phase right now. I mean, but I'm sure they're going to be out of it as soon as Bhagavad Gita Rajan, you know, releases and people go to Kashmir and, you know, um, have, like, have, you know, a holiday of their life and have a holiday of, 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 of their life. I think it's, um, it's like the most beautiful place that I have ever been. We can food going to you know Switzerland and shooting Switzerland for for for, for Kashmir. You know sometimes the press trying to do good, you know, uh, also destroys it. Like I was told, you know, that by some members of the press that oh, we 
we're just trying to cover, you know, to show that, you know, what all is going on in Kashmir. But not realizing that every time they cover something negative about Kashmir, tourism used to drop by 50-70%. And the whole economy is to, is on, on, on tourism. Salman, I'm a foodie myself. I'm a foodie, and did you enjoy the Kashmiri food? Did you have those gustabas and other things in, in Kashmir when you were... <laughs> did you put in few extra kilos? Because I know those food, it's it's something which I really want to, and when you're telling me, I've now been to Kashmir, and next time in India, you have really enticed it. Me and my wife will definitely go to Kashmir and stay there and enjoy myself. I'm telling you, you love it, and the food is incredible. It's just so heavy that I had to, you know, I could only eat it three or four times. And I still, you know, refrain myself from the food because um, I was, you know, in training for the, you know, for this film. So I just can't afford to put on that extra two, three kilos. Which is your favorite dish in Kashmir? The Gustava is like really, really, really good. <laughs> Okay, so may, maybe next time when I'm there in, in India and I go to Kashmir, I'll first thing I'm gonna try is Gustava. And yeah, and you know, and they have like you know, they have, they have that uh, the dinners, and they like I think now, uh, what is it called? Um, uh, this word for you. Um, they have about 54 dishes now, it's now with eight. Hmm. So in their dinner, from the Kashmir traditional dinner. I think they have about 54 dishes that just keep on coming and keep on coming. And those guys can really eat. <laughs> I would definitely try the Gustava and the other things. And <laughs> and you're, you, you, you have been a successful actor. You have been a successful producer now, television presenter. Any plans of going behind the lens? You told me initially in your interview that you never got a yeah, chance. But not now. Not, not now. I'm, I'm like... Um, to focus on what I'm doing right now. And um, also, um, you know, directing would take a lot of my time. So acting is good for me. You know, what I'm going to be improvised, that is okay with me. You know, once the, uh, the process of going to the script and finalizing the script, with, uh, now for uh, the things that we want to make, some in which I'm going to be there and some which I'm not going to be there, you know, for uh, SKF. So that itself will take, you know, you know quite some time. Uh, I want to concentrate more on being human right now instead of directing. So, so I think I will do about a, about a two films, a one and a half film a year, and the rest of the time that I want to do is, you know, keep uh, my focus on being human. I won't take being human. I just want um, being human to one of the coolest charitable trusts ever. And my, my, one of the last questions is what message you have for your fans in Australia? And secondly, when can we see you in Australia? I'm, I really, be, you know, I'm, people, I'm, people are really I'm, desperate to see you on stage here. Uh, I haven't been to Australia in the longest time. The last time I came there, uh, I've been there twice, I think. I, uh, I don't know, I want to perform there yet. Um, so I think the last, uh, last two trips, one I made for uh, Mel Mr. Tanda, and, uh, and I think I was there for uh, one other film. I think, uh, I think it was Zero Jalwa, I think. Some, some film I was there, I, was, I know I shot two films there. Yeah. Yeah, but um, it, I would love to be back as soon as I get some time off or, you know, some time to live in Australia. I'm, I'm ready for it. And what you have to say? You know, uh, go into the theater and try and get, you know, a little bit, even just a little bit of uh, I mean, I've taken a whole lot of a whole lot of that character in my real life. Your films have extremely done extremely well here in Australia. Most of your films do extremely well. And uh, I'm quite sure, Bajrangi Bhaijang, uh, and if you have cried in your promos, I'm quite sure we would love 
and we, it will be going in hundreds in uh, here in Australia. Uh, any other message to uh, your fans in Australia, please? No, nothing. Just be well. Take care. Be safe. That's all. Thank you, Salman. Thank you very much for your time. I know I've exceeded the time you have been allocated. Thank you for the, being generous to me. And I wish you all the best uh, for the movie and for you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye.